What's up? It's Jester from Great British Gamers, uh, doing filler episodes for a later thing which I'm going to release that I'm currently editing. And Dragon Age Origins, one of the most renowned titles by uh, Bioware, which I have played numerous times on the Xbox. I've lost count of the amount of times I've played on the Xbox 360. Um, if this gets good feedback, I'm going to play the downloadable content packs because I got the ultra. Ultimate Edition. <laughs> um, so yeah, and of course, if I if this does get good feedback, I may play Dragon Age Awakening as well. These are just fillers for a later stuff, later later stuff, <laughs> a later thing that I'm going to be releasing soon if I'm not too lazy and don't procrastinate too much. Let's get right into it. Now I won't talk during the cutscenes and I won't talk during the dialogue, or I'll try not to at least. Well that didn't work, the audio went all spazzy on me, I just at the last second, like all of the audio was out of sync with the video, it was horrible and I didn't want to have to like make you guys suffer by watching through it so I just skipped it. Uh, I said before the cutscene though that I um, will not talk during the cutscenes or the dialogue. Anyway, let's carry on to character creation. You've got your basic, <laughs> basic genders. Male and female. Race. Elves. Dwarves. Humans. Classes. There's a, there are only basic classes that you get in most RPGs, but they're nicely balanced in a way. Now, each class can determine... Each race class com combination can just determine one of six um, backgrounds. Like for example if I go for the Dwarven uh, Warrior I go for the high like background whatever it is. Oh no I can pick. Oh. You can pick to be a commoner or you can be a Dwarf Noble. Um, the Elves sort of the same thing as well. City Elves and Dalish Elves. Humans get like, they only get one option for the background, of course. So what am I going to pick? I think I'm going to go with an elf that is a... I think I'm going to go for a mage. Sounds sounds good. Elven mage. Greetings. Oh, I'm going to skip this customization just to get to the uh, end bit, so uh, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so I went back and decided to, um, oh yeah, hey again, of course. <laughs> I decided to go back and um, make a human instead because the elves just look ridiculous. I mean, the humans look ridiculous as well, but I prefer the human over the elf. It took me way too long to do. Uh, and now we're at the attributes page. Constitution. Basic stats, obviously. These are quite basic in what you do with them. But I've got to pick carefully. Magic would definitely be a thing. Cunning would definitely be a thing. Magic. Yes. Magic power. Ah, for God's sake. Coercion. Yeah, you get a bunch, a bunch of um, traits. I could call them, like, abilities. There's so many. There's different, like, tiers. Like, you get primal creation, spirit, and entropy. You get the basic mage stuff. Um, okay, I can spend two, so I'm going to go lightning and heal select difficulty you can change this at any time during the game by the way just want to point that out and let's get into this on a cliff overlooking the dark waters of lake kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the circle of magi this tower is the only place in ferelden 
where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon armed with only your will. Now, dialogue in this I love. I absolutely adore the dialogue. Um, though it, it can be a bit iffy at times, but basically the options this is one of those games if you have never heard of dragon age or mass or mass effect actually because bioware is quite big on dialogue and choices um it reflects what is going to happen what people think of you all that sort of stuff um and i'm gonna pick the basic ones know this apprentice if you fail we templars will perform our duty you will die Oh. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is free. The apprentice must go through this test alone, first enchanter. Are ready. Here I go. I won't try and talk too much during the cutscenes. <laughs> ah, here we are in this disturbing dream world known as the Fade. Oh, Lord. Now, I did get a few things because I got the Ultimate Edition, which includes the Dr Blood Dragon Plate, which I'm probably going to use on one of the other characters since a mage with 38 strength just to use... I mean, actually, no, 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 no. I might just pick a... Cause, because in this game, each class has a certain amount of specs as well. But like, wow, or... Um, Spator, it has specs, and like for the mages, I believe it's begun. uh, combat mage. It's like a mage that wears armor, and I'll have to go through this at some point. Disturbing statue. Beyond the oh, yeah, you get lots of codexes in this game. There are lots and lots and lots of codexes, an unbelievable amount, even. Oh, there's an enemy. One. It feels somewhat better on PC, just the combat wise. Oh god. I'm gonna have to start using the keys instead of clicking, otherwise, it's gonna be boring and uh, more annoying. What? It's a fine thing we've done. Oh yeah, I didn't pick my character's voice. I really couldn't be asked. Just wanted to get into the game. Yeah, you get a lot of someone else thrown to the wolves 
Oh. As fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> you can... There's, like, comedic options at times. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was. You. Allow me to welcome you to the fade. Whoa. You can call me Well Mouse. No, I don't remember anything from before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here, other spirits. They will tell you more, maybe help. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. And there we go. The dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Yeah, I think I'm fine. I think this is the that area. Is the test will take I shall do it. The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. There are too many codexes in this game almost. See, I didn't play very much of this on the PC, so I'm still trying to get a hang of the controls, especially for the mage. Another spirit this way. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. <sighs> they are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. Of course, you are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Without a doubt, in this realm everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Hmm. Well, yeah. Go on, then. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? You wish my weapon? 
then we fight by my rules or not at all. Our duel begins now. Fight with valor! As you say. Watch out! Don't give them the advantage! Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. Hmm. I could choose to be an asshole and attack him. Or I can choose to thank him and be on my way. Or question him or whatever. Now I don't want to just put you like have you going into too much dialogue and just like not see enough of the combat, so I'm just gonna say thank you and be on my May way. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal. Ooh. Here's your inventory. Weapons, armor, accessories, other crafting and plot items. Valor staff. There we go. Getting used to these controls isn't easy at times. Have I still got my... Yeah, I've still got him. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Help you? <laughs> Nothing can help you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? Come on, don't be, an, don't be a pussy about it. Just go and fight and help me kill this thing. Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> you could help me fight it's the demon. true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. Yes. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm hmm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Hmm. I don't remember what the riddles are from 
when I used to play it, so I need to be careful. Truly? Oh. Oh, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? <laughs> yes. Uh, let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? This is a more difficult one, obviously. Are you even trying? Uh, the answer is a tongue. Time to feast. Oh, for Christ's sake. What a delight. Stand still. Be careful now. Exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get like this. Am I a bear? It feels heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then and uh, defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. <laughs> I've taught the mouse to not persist in bothering me. I'm tired. Wow, I love the characters. I love the voice acting, it's just awesome. Let's go and defeat the demon. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. If he was a mouse, he wouldn't be able to own so much. Though I'm still owning more. Yes. And there is a spirit of rage. There it is. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. Arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly, the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. That is because you are a true mage, one of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it, but you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. 
Oh god. I hate, like, I don't want to open shift tab, and I forgot to do it before I started recording. So that's, uh, my bad. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. Oh. <laughs> what? What are you... Of course it was! What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? A bear. <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions. Careless trust. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Damn. Are you all right? Say something, please. I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? There must be something more, or they'd tell the apprentices what's involved. I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. And now you get to move to the nice mages' quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here, and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. The Tranquil never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. He's been made tranquil. I don't know how they do it exactly, but you're cut off from the fade. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. Ugh. Oh god, I remember the Tranquil. Apprentices can ask to be made Tranquil if they fear the harrowing. But the Circle also forces Tranquility on those they feel are weak. And sometimes they force it upon apprentices they think might be too... dangerous as mages. I, I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Oh. Well, thank you. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. And there we are. Oh, bloody lord. <sighs> Leveling up. I'll see you next time.